Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthfication Chronicles, and I heard about this the other day. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it to you all. Yeah, lawmaker offers a Christian prayer, deeply offends Muslim lawmaker. And so in Pennsylvania is where this took place, and there was a Muslim state lawmaker in Pennsylvania who was highly offended by freshman state representative Stephanie Borowitz, who said a normal Christian prayer before their official sessions on the day the Muslim woman was sworn in. The new Muslim lawmaker said it was Islamophobic and the prayer was weaponized. However, at her swearing in, a Muslim prayer was offered and no one said a thing. Yeah, uh, Borowitz used the name Jesus many times in her prayer. And of course, that was something that, you know, the Muslim didn't like that, even though they do have kind of an idea of Jesus. They just don't have the same idea Jesus as most Christians do. Anyway, so I wanted to point this out to you. Now, here are the two links that go with it. Remember, I'll put these down below. I'm not going to play them for you, but I will put them down below so you can see them. This was the prayer and it has the entire prayer. It went on for, um, it was about a minute 48 is this clip. And so this woman gave the prayer and yes, she did use the name Jesus, but I will tell you, it'd be a prayer you'd hear in just about any Protestant church, you know, Bible believing church. So there was nothing out of line with her prayer, but yes, the Muslim thought that was Islamophobic. And here is her rebuttal to it, the Muslim woman's rebuttal. I don't know why that's so dark. It's a fade in thing there. But she gave her response about it and that she just thought it was terrible that that was done. And yeah, so now she's causing a big stink over it and she wants it to be sent, that woman to be censured. Oh, it's just, yeah, for praying, for praying. This is where our country's going, folks. Yeah. And just because I know already what YouTube is going to say about this particular video, just because it deals with this subject, I'm going to go ahead and say this anyway. The very first Quran that was printed in the United States was printed by the U.S. government. Why? It had a foreword in it that said, this is so you can read it and you can know our enemy because these are the people who have declared war on the United States. Yes, even back then, this was the very first war the U.S. declared was on these Muslim countries over in the Middle East. Yeah, believe it or not, that's what they did. You know why they say from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli? Well, Tripoli was a big part of that. So anyway, I wanted to point that out to you. You know, I have nothing against Muslims. I really don't. Although I think that they have chosen a belief that's not going to get them into heaven. And that saddens me as a Christian that they do. But they have such a hatred for anyone who doesn't believe the way they do. As a Christian, I can be saddened because somebody doesn't believe like I do but I don't hate them for it. In fact, just the opposite. I feel very bad that they don't know the truth. That always saddens my heart when people just don't know the truth. And that's why I do what I do because I like putting truth out and I think it's very important for people to know. So I would just wish the Muslims would be a little more considerate and say, you know, that's not the way I believe, it's okay. You believe differently, that's up to you. It's between you and God. But that's not how they see it. And that is not how Islam was from the beginning. Even when I was doing our online ministry years and years ago, we had a lot of Muslims who would come into the Christian chat rooms and try to proselytize people and tell them how what they believed was not true. And that if they were not Muslim, then, you know, they were doomed, essentially. And that's kind of the mentality of it. Well, you know, I guess as a Christian, when I see people, it's a different kind of doom because I'm not going to force them to be a Christian ever. If you don't want to believe the way I do, that's up to you. But I do also understand that God's the one who sets the rules for who gets into heaven and who doesn't. And if I ignore the rules that he set down in the Bible, then I'm in trouble. So those are my thoughts on this. 
I just wanted to put this out there and let you know in case you haven't seen it. It has made the rounds. I think Fox News had an article on their website about it. I'm not sure if they did anything on Fox News itself. I don't have cable. I just watch what I can on on the internet, but <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, I don't even turn on the TV. I think the last time I had my TV turned on was back uh, Christmas Eve, I think, because I watched It's a Wonderful Life. The local station here played it. I think that was the last time I even had it turned on. Well, so there's just too many other things to do. And, and there's not a lot on anymore these days that I like to watch. So anyway, I wanted to put this information out to you so you can disseminate it. Because really, that's what I consider myself as. Somebody who provides you with the information so you can go out and send it out to many, many, many more people. And I figure if I can have a 100 people see a video and then they share it with another 100 people, and those people all share it with 100 people. We're covering a lot of area, and that's the important part. And so that's what I've got for you today. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all later. Bye.